Well, the first day of school is when most students break out their best new school clothes, shoes and supplies, signaling a fresh new start, a clean slate. But many Houston ISD school campuses don't look like they're putting their best foot forward. We want to show you some pictures. This is Blackshear Elementary School. You can see some of the tall grass there, the weeds at the front of the school, debris at the curb from the storm. We've got another picture from the Energy Institute High School, and this was just yesterday afternoon. They still have downed trees and debris that need to be removed. You can see it. It is um, cordoned off there, but it's still on the campus. It looks like no one's mowed at that school all summer. Um, so this morning we've got uh, Pastor Linda Davis joining us in studio. Council member of District D, Carolyn Evans Shabazz, is joining us remotely. So we thank you both so much for coming in, for coming to talk with us this morning. Yes. We want to kind of go in order, Pastor Davis, of, of sort of how you noticed this problem. Because did you just happen to be at Blackshear? I mean, you, you noticed the state of that campus recently. Yes, on Thursday, they were having a meet the parent day mm -hmm. and I went by to meet the principal and some of the teachers that were there and some of the students parents that are there. And when I got there, the grass, I looked at the school and the grass was overgrown. There were still hurricane debris on the parking lot on the lots and there also was an overflowing of trash there. The in a dumpster, dumpster that had yes, been emptied. Yes. Uh -huh. So I was just really excited, ex you know, ex concerned about that. I knew that the students deserve to start the school year in a clean and safe environment. Mm -hmm. So I knew I had to act. I knew I had to do something to so, ensure that. So what did you do? So I took a video. Uh -huh. I took that video and in taking that video, I sent that video to Councilwoman Evan Shabazz's office, who is the Councilwoman for District D. Uh -huh. And I told them that this was unacceptable to me with reference to the students coming back to school on Monday. Yeah, because you guys, this is the video that you took there where you can see that, that, that grass on campus, but you um, were able to speak with some leadership at the school because you have an after school program there. That's correct. And did they say, hey, we're working on it or what did they know about it? She asked me, spoke to the principal there and she asked me if I, there was any help that we could give them after I showed her the video and talked to her about what was going on at the school and how I thought that the school should look better as the students prepare to come back on Monday. Yeah, if there's any help you could give them, obviously you said you reached out to your council member and in steps Carolyn Evan Shabazz, um, council member for District D. You're joining us remotely. Good morning, council member. Good morning, Amy, and certainly good morning to Pastor Davis, a tremendous community partner who I so appreciate. I mean, I know that we can have a lot of time to say like, wait a minute, why is the principal of a public school asking other people, well, can you help me? We'd have to think, but we don't know that she's asked leaders, hey, who's going to come pick up the trash and who's going to mow the grass? Um, we want to get all those questions answered, and we've heard a little bit from Mike Miles, but what did you do? Because school is Monday. I mean, it's just a few days away. You know, this is a tremendous problem. The leadership of HISD in terms of their board of managers, they don't really have the same accountability. So because I am an elected council member, I am that person. And I'm so glad to serve in that capacity, actually. I am a former educator. And so um, I live across the street from the school, and that's a, always a concern for me. And so certainly we used our council district service funds to be able to reach out, certainly to the Good Neighbor Program as well as to solid waste and certainly we're going to get that cleaned up but there are other schools in very close proximity some of them you just had on your video uh, i walk the neighborhood pretty regularly and there are several schools in the area and it's just a real concern for me when students have to go to a campus that is not inviting you know they're coming in some of them are brand new students so they're not familiar with the campus at all but to see that, you know, what we see, like they say, what we see is what we be, right? Yeah. And so, I mean, poor English, but certainly <laughs> I know you, you can understand what I'm saying. You know, you come into a school, you expect it to be inviting, again, as Pastor Davis says, safe. And uh, to have those, that debris and all of that uh, trash and the grass not cut, it's certainly not acceptable. Yeah. So, so I'm so very glad that she did reach out. Yeah. And so then you mentioned this good neighbor program and you your district has worked with them in the past as well. Is this sort of for things projects in your district that just need attention? 
Absolutely. Uh, you know, through career recovery uh, and that particular program, we've been able to reach out not just to schools, but some seniors and people who are really having some issues that they can't get abated. Mm -hmm. And so, so very glad that we have those council district service funds to help people because that's what this is all about. And certainly, uh, again, I always thank Pastor Davis. And, and I wanna say before we get off too, she's always having uh, things in the community, uh, but I wanna uh, highlight that today we are having a back to school backpack program today at the Career Recovery Center at 2525 San Jacinto, and it's from 10 to noon. Okay. So uh, go by there, get backpacks. There will be a food distribution, uh, just whatever we can do to help the community to, and our students certainly to have a great school year. All right, that is great news. So today from 10 until noon, you can go by there on San Jacinto Career Recovery Center. Thank you so much, Councilmember Evan Shabazz. Thank you, Pastor Davis. At least getting some, some grass mowed, at least one school cleaned up, Blackshire Elementary. We thank you for your time we'll this morning. One thank school at a time, but it's certainly something that needs to be on the radar of HISD to take care of these schools. Uh, it's just not acceptable. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much.